Hey, good evening, super excited. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're joining from. You're welcome to Financial Trading Culture, another amazing episode where we're going to be dealing and talking about the market. Really excited. These are my outlook for this week. Get your pen, get, get it right there. Sit down and let's do some work together. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if uh, you're returning, Visitor, thank you so much for coming. And uh, this week, here we go. We have a couple of charts this week. And one of the things that I let you guys know is that you want to be able to identify the market behavior from higher time frame. And uh, this week, we have a couple of uh, several scenarios that you're looking out for. Uh, Karchev is basically on top of the chart for me this week. And why is this so? Is because he's trying to get his feet back into his, into this level, right? But in this case, uh, the trend has been established, and uh, we have an early reversal, uh, which we allow us to be able to go in on a on a short sell before the continuation. Now, when you see this move starts from here, the market drops. And we call this impulse correction continuation, correction continuation. Then you see this move, then the market broke and returned back. So this became another impulse, this became correction, and this became continuation. So right now we're expecting a correction back into this zone. So with that, having established that, we also can see that the market swept off our liquidity at this level. So that means that the sell has been established. So with that, we go to four hours. And on four hours came, and the market created, having cleared this change of trend, okay? And when the market cleared this change of trend, we have a correction, okay? So right now we have a continuation so we want, we're waiting for a correction before we now have a continuation. So this week, one of the pairs I'm looking out for is um, for a, got my interest. We got the 74, 150 zone and we, we got the 74, 500 zone. Okay, so we have to wait for the others to come into this place or come into this place for our entry. So you have to be able to, Pick your entries from lower time frame, okay, for a sell, or you come into this place for a sell. So with that, we should be able to do a good one to fifteen to twenty risk reward. So this is number one trade for me. I wouldn't like to do a you know that you have a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and a lower low. So you're waiting for a retracement for a sell for catcher. So. Second on my board is um, is card JPY. If we go to monthly, uh, sorry, NZD card. If we go to monthly, you will see that the market created broke this level. Okay. And we have a change of trend that have proved that we are now on a hop demand zone, which will be a continuation. So we have an impulse, we have a correction, we have that. So we want to be able to enjoy this demand zone right now that the market is being controlled by. So if you go to weekly time frame, we're able to see that the market also broke this change of trend. And having said that, that means that the demand here becomes powerful. So this week, we're waiting for this rally base rally. And this rally base rally. However, I prefer this because this is the closest. So I don't like to talk about um, zones when they are far away. So we're expecting the market to come into this place by Thursday or Friday. However, if we go to daily, you will see that the market has created some rejection here and it dropped. It created a reversal, which is continuation, 
he dropped. He went up again, then created another. So right now we have a So we have midnight. I will be waiting for confirmation in this zone because the market daily supply zone. So we're going to be waiting for confirmation. For those in the ITC group, they know the confirmation of into this um, low, major buy. And if the market gives us more room, we'll take it forward. So the second trade I have on my radar is short sell. So you have to check the confirmation. For those who knows how to use um, you already have a trend line here. Yeah. Okay. Lower high, lower low, back into this frame. Okay. Because in this zone, we also have 8700, which I feel they should come to. But you see, what I've learned about the matters is the one that will serve to be where I should be We're looking for a short sell right there. If you can get this, then if there's a confirmation here, we will exit this sell and take this buy for consumption. To share with you guys is USD card, okay? USD card. So USD card, we are actually expecting the market to pull up into the supply zone. And the reason is that if you, if you look closely, you have your lower high, lower low. You have your lower high, lower low. So the market needs to pull up back into this place for continuation. So to confirm that we are actually on a sell move, you can see change of what? Change of character here. So this is the last up move, uptrend move. You can see that. Then it dropped. Then it went up. Then it dropped. Then right now it has to come back up here for us to sell. So um, this will be in this box. We'll check out in the group if we can get the five minute entry on the USD card. Okay. So I think the volume is more on this card pairs this this week. We have several other ones that we're looking really outlook. We want to be in the institutional trading community. We're expecting HF, NHF, NAU, AU, and uh, the rest of the group to be. Make sure you obey the rules of engagement. Uh, you have your, your, so that means this your lower high, lower high, up to this place. The moment I have for you to do, make sure you stick, uh, make sure you're in the Telegram group so that if you have any, uh, as usual, we could drop one or two trades uh, for you for the week. The, the one we dropped last week gave us one token. I look forward to your success, guys. My name is Mikmai Wogolabi. Make sure you share this video in this channel. I look forward to your success, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, guys.